the majority of the time I'm showing you guys my wins. I'm trying to encourage you to go out, get second hand equipment, get more for your money and explore the game of golf. Today however, I'm going to show you my loss because I think it's just as important. I've never seen a serial number. For, this is what basically caught me out when I was cleaning them. If you look on the shelf, hang on, let me just give you a better picture. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Simon down here, just south of Swindon. Just like the stars aligned this morning, essentially I found three different pickups of golf clubs within about half an hour, all within like 10 minutes of themselves, which is kind of unheard of. So we're gonna go and pick up all three sets. I won't tell you exactly what we're picking them up for or what they are, for example, um, uh, but we'll just go to each place and I'll talk a bit about the clubs and then we'll get home, clean them, and uh, just see how well we did. Okay, so the first pickup is a set of Ping Irons and a Ping B60 putter. I'll show you the listing here. 160 pounds, which is kind of right, but four to sandwich, which is eight clubs, 20 pounds, a club is actually a pretty good price for what they are so I think there's going to be some kind of margin in them but it's all down to the condition um, uh, and there was only a couple of photos and to be honest at the moment uh, especially with Facebook it's so competitive I'm just like I'll just come collect them give you cash and then go away pay for them and then ask questions later kind of thing so let's go and pick them up and see exactly what we got stupidly I've just got back to the car I've obviously paid the gentleman I've got two clubs with missing weights at the back of them the five and the six iron which is pretty much kind of just tanked this deal of actually making any kind of money. Like, I still think this set's worth 160. I mean, it's still four to sandwich. You can get those replaced by, it depends what year. Ping are very good at being able to replace and repair clubs of their um, older stock. They keep loads of spares, but these I-20s might be a bit old. So trying to get those weights replaced could be very challenging. So, Unfortunately, this isn't the best start I was hoping for on this journey of my normal mornings of picking up golf clubs, but I mean, they look good. I mean, they're in really good condition. It's just a shame. They're obviously going to fit a lot of people. They're black dot, um, uh, standard length, but with two weights missing out of the back of them. I mean, I would probably price these at 160 for to sand wedge, realistically. So, yes, let me show you the part. Putt on the other hand, I really like. 30 pounds we paid for this, it's in really good shape. It's very traditional, it's very classic. A lot of people either played with this or want this back in their bag, or just looking for like an affordable kind of putter, like ping putter, anything. Like you can look at like the old B ping B60s. They're going for 50 pounds and they're like 30 years old, which goes testament to how good ping putters are, but also at the same time, that is a bit ridiculous. This is definitely not 30 years old. The grip's actually in really good condition as well. And it does come with half a decent head cover to go with. We're at our next location, another field, another farm, some Callaway irons. This is an absolute steal, 20 pounds for the entire lot. Some steel head Callaway irons, steel head, big berthers, anything with that kind of forgiving head, no matter what kind of uh, beginning you are, how far you hit it, you just need that level of forgiveness and that's exactly what these are designed for. Four. So, £20 for the full set. There is a copper wedge there as well. Not too sure what that is. Um, hopefully, that could be a bit of a bonus, but also it could be a piece of rubbish. So, let's go and pick them up, see what kind of condition they're in. Hopefully, there's not too much wrong with them. And um, uh, But for £20, it's just a good deal. Ladies and gents, three to Sam Wedge. Loads of clubs in really good condition. Unfortunately, we got a Donne special at the 64 degree wedge at the bottom there. So that's not really worth anything. Um, uh, but in terms of the actual general um, clubs themselves, there's only the eight iron that's missing the back. So that kind of like little insert, which is a bit, a bit annoying, but not as bad as the ping. Like the ping, the weights actually are needed in the clubs. And for someone that's gonna pick these up, that won't make a massive difference in terms of the actual set themselves. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna split it up, maybe sell the three iron separately and then keep this four to sand wedge. Because again, someone that was looking for this set, a beginner, just looking for a forgiving set of irons, would they really need a three iron? Probably not. But for 20 pounds, really happy with that. And um, uh, I think we'll probably go to our next Pick up. Okay, final stop, and this one is a bit special. I actually own one of these already, but this is in far better condition. And when I saw it, and also saw that I was in the arrow regardless, it just seemed to make sense. So let me go and collect it, show you exactly what I got. Boys and girls, we've got another Mura golf bag, and this one is in far better condition than the one that I have at the moment. 
So actually with a bit of a clean up, which um, uh, shouldn't take that long, overall, bag looks really good and it comes with a really good condition head cover as well so i'm not too sure what we're going to do with the other one i might get rid of the other one and keep this one in its place um i'm not too sure obviously i'm turning into a bit of a gold bag collector um uh, with um, uh, my collection ever expanding but i say for 50 pounds for this in um, uh, really good condition felt and everything especially compared to the one i've got at the moment this um, uh, definitely wins that battle. I also need to publicly thank you, George, because he's the one that actually put this in the pay and WhatsApp group the other day and said, if this is local to you, just a heads up that it's available. And then I realized it's exactly the same place that I went and actually picked that master's bag up from the other day. So George, thank you ever so much. If you're interested in getting involved in the pay and group, link in description. Uh, I've got set up a second one now because the first one was full. So I've now got a second one. Basically just ask urgent questions, Facebook, Gumtree, eBay, that kind of stuff. If you are querying any kind of deal that you've seen at this point in the video that i'm now in an extreme amount of trouble as i've not picked my son up yet i'm 40 minutes away in swindon obviously picking this golf bag up and my wife's now in the salon getting her hair done before the hen deal this weekend with our friends who have their own salon so hopefully axel is behaving otherwise i'm in an extreme amount of trouble it was fair to say we were a bit late of picking up the son from the hairdressers luckily the people that does marry and my hair are our best mates that literally live down the road so that's just as well but we've got the mural bag in so we've got golf clubs under the pram and we've got my son chewing on plastic right axel's in his bouncer which means we've now got a solid 30 minutes of cleaning time you go for it son let's get cleaning right clubs are all clean just like i'd normally do after going pick up some clubs in the morning or afternoon however with closer inspection we've made a few mistakes a few errors probably not asking the right questions but that is my tactic buy collect come home and then just hope for the best and interestingly i think i've bought my first ever fake slash counterfeit golf club right let's start with the 20 pound x14 so to be honest really can't moan however this was a bit disappointing rust on the shaft there which typically not necessarily an issue with clubs this old it's going to happen whether age sitting in garage dampness but you can see that is just bent to the bottom there which sadly not necessarily makes this set pointless but you don't know how much damage that's actually done now to the shaft itself and i was hoping to the three arms in good condition which i'm happy with so the three arms is going to be sold by itself this now though i mean 40 pounds 50 pounds 60 pounds probably at most to get on ebay so uh, not ebay sorry facebook so unfortunately not the biggest win that i was obviously hoping for Ping B60, I've actually got nothing, um, no problem with, apart from the head cover really doesn't stay on the head. But um, overall, Ping B60, that's probably one of the wins. But again, because I paid £30 for it, I mean, again, £50, maybe £55, takeaway postage, takeaway fees, maybe a tenner left in that in terms of profit, probably pays for the petrol of today. The biggest loss of today, which again, obviously we saw earlier, the weight out the back of the heads didn't help because again, it's just going to reduce the amount of people that are actually after them. But I've got a feeling, a very strong feeling, almost to the point that I'm dead sir. I've never seen a serial number. For, this is what basically caught me out when I was cleaning them. If you look on the shaft, hang on, let me just give you a better picture. Ping, however, always have ping serial numbers and they're always engraved. I'm dead certain this is a fake and just things add up. Now, from a glance, if I just looked at this without that serial number, I would like to say that I would have no idea this was fake. Let me just have a five on and just show you the difference. Also, if anyone unsure what a ping at golf club serial number should look like, it should look like all of these, especially a set. They should all be matching because normally this probably be like a custom set made. So if they are a custom set, all the serial numbers will be exactly the same. And ping hold their records for like years and years and years, basically from the start of them making golf clubs. So if you have a serial number, a model, then uh, more than likely or not, you'll be able to email them contact them and they'll be able to tell you if that's a legit set of golf clubs again i doubt they have that one on record so here's the five iron with the weight missing out by the looks of things the counterfeit clubs are better at sticking their weights in than the five iron but overall again it has a different grip which again doesn't necessarily i mean someone could easily have a five to sandwich set and go you know what i just want to buy a four iron off ebay or wherever to uh, fit into this club 
the shaft labels look exactly the same like pretty much identical even the step pattern on the shafts as well pretty much identical the ping side in terms of these here again identical so i was really struggling i was just thinking like from the top edge there for example to the plastic it did look very clean very smooth but the writing is just off and again any ping club you just wouldn't have that so this is the genuine one the i20 which again you can see there and you can see the way there's gapping in the lettering you don't have that with this club and again with the serial number as well you can see how much fatter see the p on the ping there it's like a little tiny slot much thicker the i20 on the side here again it's just like on here this one it's like bubble writing again it's not necessarily as crisp so you can see how much thicker the lining is on the two and the zero there on here much more space which now concludes pretty much that that is a fake club but it looks i'm not being funny from this side i mean the numbers again on the front potentially yeah you could probably see actually the numbers like in terms of the um, size of it but if i didn't have that five on and i was just looking at that i honestly wouldn't be able to tell step like everything else pretty much is identical the other side when i started looking closer though is that the four iron definitely thick and obviously the um sides of the um heads always change depending on like the pitching wedge the seven iron to their iron but again you can just see it stands out which means this is the first time i've bought a fake golf club and obviously it will not be selling it so not the most productive morning in the world but you're going to have some of them i've definitely had my fair share of wins this month so maybe a loss is needed to kind of steady the ship of luck to non-luck ratio i'm not going to message the seller to be honest i don't think he would have even known i'm interested to obviously test that four iron and see how it reacts and feels and maybe just get a real i20 as well and give it a test and see what the numbers are like because from a glance looking at it even when i pick them up unless i obviously put it under the microscope as i have done when i've been cleaning them it's very difficult to tell which is interesting because normally they look miles apart guys if you like this video leave a like subscribe if you're new catch you guys there morning tom hope you're doing well good afternoon mate well done on the lesson and evening alan not a problem at all and testing the g30s and the <laughs> <laughs> afternoon gents on my way to lock up go go pick up the mirror on